Why read the news when you can watch it? Introducing SKN Newsline, the Federation's only online TV news platform. SKN Newsline is an online TV news platform covering news in St. Kitts and Nevis. We provide a daily and accurate news on the big stories and stories of interest that other media outlets have ignored. You can watch SKN Newsline on our website, www.sknnewsline.com or Facebook page at www.fb.com slash SKN Newsline and also subscribe to our SKN Newsline YouTube channel. SKN Newsline, your world, your news. Now you can have SKN Newsline on the go. Introducing SKN Newsline Android mobile app. Search SK Newsline in the Google Play Store. Download the app free and stay up to date with TV news in St. Kitts and Nevis in the palm of your hands. With this app, you can watch your news reports, watch our live news feed on SK Newsline TV, engage with us and other app users in the chat room, look at our special features, send us news tips, and call us directly. It's, it's news, news on, on the, the go. go. The SK Newsline Android mobile app. Download, Download it free, free today. today. There is a new and more improved shipping option in town. Introducing West Tech Shipping. We offer five shipments per week, Monday through Friday. The lowest price is guaranteed, and you can track your packages online using our mobile app or website. And here's the best part. Registration is free. We also offer package delivery with quality customer service from our friendly staff, ready to get it to you. Visit West Tech Shipping, located at Unit B3, City Plaza, Fort Street, Bastier. Call 465-9380 or WhatsApp 665-9378. Visit our website, www.westtechshipping.com. West, West Tech, Tech Shipping, Shipping. We, we get, get it, it to you. you. It's back to school at KFC. Spend $25 or more at KFC for a chance to be one of eight lucky winners to win a $250 gift certificate from Law's Bookstore or School Apex. Log on to www.kfcsurvey.com. Complete the survey. Write the validation code on the back of the receipt along with your name and phone number and return to any cashier. Draw date is the end of August. Come to KFC and win. It's back to school with KFC. The Organization for Rastafari Unity, a group of Rastafarians living in St. Kitts, took to the streets of Bastia Friday evening to march for the freedom to use marijuana. The march, which is an annual one, took as part of its course down Market Street on the police escort. SK Newsline had a chance to speak to Ras Aya, who explained the purpose of the march as they went down Market Street. Yes, I mean, I see at the seventh annual cannabis march and rally, and we are celebrating our ancient Ella. Marcus Barras Fire Gavi 131st Boat Shang. So we are here just entertained, moving forward with education for the freedom of the hub. That we could see a message go out to the, the higher powers in charge that they're able to be able to bring greater changes in the laws that are unconstitutional against the hub. Because our people are not any pattern to create the violence act when the use of hub and we are practically a user of the hub and we have to agitate with all people who are not even out here physically with I and I, but we are here for a purpose and a cause that we can able to make sure that the government bring a great result when it comes to the use of hub. We noticed concerns expressed by some of the marchers with the decision of the police to utilize alternative routes instead of the main streets where they would normally march. Of note was that the police escort led them down a section of Lower Market Street, which, coming from the Central Street end, is one-way traffic, which led to remonstration from the marchers. Because basically, a lot of things are formulated under the policies changing, but they are not being mandated as law. It's just a power struggle in the concept of how the government they use the theory to make it feel like these are troubling me making progress but there are things that our people call for that we must able to utilize the strategy in wise mind and keep on our fight to make sure we make the message go out so we are part of the historical fight still right now so we're calling for greater sense of calm and harmony and unification for our brothers 
and sisters to analyze yeah, we are here to match to today. Like we had the man. You see me? Because really and truly, we got to deal with the right authority. If all of us speaking at the same time, it's going to be like Babel Tower. We're going to do it like we had the mic. One person going to speak at a time, talk loud so the people them can hear us like we did last year, just like the virgin of the right tool. We turn it into a hand, and we're going to let each man blow the trumpet. Yeah, this is Jericho Wall, I not because we're not going to music. This is where Marcus Garvey yeah, come yeah, and chant. Yeah, 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 in 1937, yeah, 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 yeah. I would want to just chant a song to Marcus Garvey. The issue of decriminalization of marijuana has been of public debate of late in St. Kitts and Nevis and the wider Caribbean, as CARICOM has been looking at arguments for and against the decriminalization of marijuana. The National Marijuana Commission has already had six meetings between October 6, 2017 to present and has completed phase one of its work. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. Beat up a full time now. Yes. Check it up. No intimidation, man. I take away. Read her, bro. They yeah, were natural. Yeah. Got to stay natural. At Najiko, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going even after an accident happens on site. At Najiko, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Police said customs officer Larry Vaughn was arrested and charged for the offenses of trespassing, battery on police and a resisting arrest and obstruction when he was asked to leave the customs office early this week. Police said in a press release about the incident that it received a request for assistance from Her Majesty's Customs and Excise Department. Preliminary investigations revealed that Larry Vaughan of Keys Village was asked to leave the premises by the control of customs several times. After failing to do so, the assistance of the police was requested. When they arrived, the police also asked Mr. Vaughan to leave the premises. When he failed to follow the instructions, he was arrested for trespassing and taken into police custody. However, while carrying out the arrest, Mr. Vaughan obstructed the officer in the execution of her duties. He received bail later that same day in the amount of $5,000 with two sureties for his appearance at the Bastyr Magistrates Court on October 2, 2018. Vaughan recorded segments of the incident on his mobile phone as seen in this footage, which was posted on social media. So officer, do not touch my phone. Officer, 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 what? <laughs> officer, may I have my phone, please? Officer, may I have my phone? Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Oh, Excuse me, I'm going to take my bag and leave. Let me take my bag and leave. Officer, do not push me. Take your bag and leave. Anything you hear? Did you want to call for backup? Call for backup. Take your bag and leave. I am going to charge you for resisting arrest. I'm back here. I resist arrest? You, you arrested me? How did I resist arrest? Let's go. Oh, come on, officer. I, I, I'm happy you okay. came. I'm so happy you okay. came. Officer, you can't do that. Officer, you can't do that. Officer, Excuse me. I wrote back to the person. I wrote back to the person who said I was on leave. Let's go. You're keeping me back. Let's go. I didn't call you, so how could I give Let's you back? Let's go. Man, I got all the here with you. No, you don't have all the who call you. Excuse me, please. I'm so happy I have it recorded. So you're not going to say anything that I didn't say? Larry Vaughan and the government have been at loggerheads over his employment situation. On the day he was arrested, he won a court case against the government. The government in 2017 had tried to transfer him from the customs department to a teaching position. Vaughan objected and brought the Attorney General and the Public Service Commission to court. On the day before the matter was to be heard in the court, the Public Service Commission rescinded their decision to transfer Vaughan. The verdict was handed out on Tuesday, August 14, where the Attorney General was ordered to pay legal costs to Mr. Vaughan. Mr. Vaughan was sent on administrative leave this week, which led to his removal by police escort from the customs premises in Bird Rock.
The opposition Senkis Nevis Labour Party has slammed the government on this matter, citing political victimization. Party chairperson MP Marcella Lybird said during Freedom Radio talk show issues on Wednesday, quote, It's very interesting that Larry Vaughan got a decision delivered against the government yesterday morning, and then later we hear all this up at customs. It's interesting that the government could send a letter to Larry Monday asking him to take administrative leave, whatever that means, because I don't know of any administrative leave in our codes when the decision was to be delivered the very next morning. SK Newsline contacted Mr. Vaughan for an interview who promised that a media statement would be sent out on the matter at a later time. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline. Ricardo's Home Center and Hardware is your first and best choice in hardware supplies. Visit Ricardo's for paint supplies, screws and nails, windows and doors, building supplies, plumbing supplies, tools, cabinetry, lavatory and accessories, tile, cement and grout, water heaters, lumber and plywood, and much more. At Ricardo's, our services are second to none. In the Federation, we offer paint mixing, screen repair, screen installation, window repair, Repair, security screen door repair and commercial doors and locks repair we also offer delivery service so come by at ricardo's in needs must estate st kitts call 465-9229-466-1824-662-3451 email rhcenter.h at gmail.com for the best in supplies and service visit ricardo's home center and hardware Honorable Sean K. Richards, Minister of Youth and Culture, said that last year for CISEC, the scores were lower but increased this year. He was speaking at a press conference on Tuesday to announce the results. For CISEC, for the schools last year, it was a 79.41. This year, we're registering 82. Point one nine. Overall, last year it was a seventy-five point seven one. This year, overall, when you include the private candidates, it's seventy-eight point one six. Most of the schools actually had an increase in the percentage pass rate for 2018. Mr. Richards also stated that the CAPE scores this year has increased slightly. What I can say to you is that for CAPE, last year the national pass rate was 87.15%. This year we have seen a slight increase in that the national pass rate is 88.08%. Let me qualify that though. The 88.08% .08 is reflective of schools. So that would be CFBC and Nevis Sixth Form College in particular. Now for private centers, you had a 77.94 pass rate for CAPE. So overall, there is an 87.34 percent pass rate overall for keep of course the ministry of education cannot control uh, what happens relative to private candidates he also said that the virtuous high school stands out because their scores increased the virtual i i think stands out because you would recall last year the principal of virtual I was part of the press conference when virtual I had the lowest pass rate of 68.17% in the Federation. This year virtual I is noted for being the best performing school in St. Kitts with a pass rate of 87.05% being only second to the Gingerland Secondary School which had a pass rate of 95.80%. The minister also disclosed to the press the number of passes of subjects per school. Bastia High School returned 631 acceptable grades out of 754. 
Kayon High School returned 451 out of 553. Charles E. Mills Secondary School returned 351 out of 430. Charlestown Secondary School returned 564 out of 715. Gingerland Secondary School returned 251 out of 262. Immaculate Conception Catholic School returned 182 out of 231. Nevis International Secondary School returned 30 out of 37. Sadler's Secondary School returned 235 out of 284. Virtuals High School returned 457 out of 525. Washington Archibald High School returned 794 out of 1010. St. Kitts Private Candidates returned 328 out of 620. New Horizon Rehabilitation Center returned 10 out of 10. Nevis Private returned 125 out of 204. Her Majesty's Prison returned 11 out of 19. I am Chiari Morton, SKN Newsline. On the road to good health, you must visit Nature's Discount Nutrition Center on 4th Street. Nature's Discount is your first stop for all natural supplements to maintain the health of the entire family, natural alternative medicines to heal your ailments, natural weight management supplies to ensure you look good. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center also carries all of your sports nutrition supplies, cleansing and digestion products, natural health and beauty products, oils, organic and gluten-free foods, energy and endurance, and sexual well-being supplements. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center on 4th Street is open 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Fridays and evenings 6.30 to 8.30 on Saturdays. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center, your get healthy, feel wealthy people. Prime Minister Dr. Timothy Harris said that over 2,500 households have signed up for the Poverty Alleviation Program. He made this disclosure while speaking on the radio program on WinFM Monday. How many persons have, have uh, uh, registered so far? You know? So far, we have had over 2,500 applications as a last um, working day before today, so that would be Friday, I think the 10th of August. This is a significant number, and it tells you the state of play that if our administration left the country in, 2,500 households' applications would have been received. Dr. Harris suggested that there is an average of about four persons per household. And you know, if you take an average of, say, four persons per household, we are looking then at almost 10,000 persons. Assuming that all of these would end up being qualified recipients are being impacted by this program. He also said this is the most significant delivery of social assistance in the country. And we take particular pleasure in doing this good deed for the people. It shows that we have remained faithful to the poor of the country, faithful in our commitment to bring them closer to prosperity, that is to improve the quality of life, that is to give them a fair share of the progress of the country, a fair share of the resources. The Poverty Alleviation Program is a program for households earning less than $3,000 per month. Prime Minister Harris added additional days for registration and said that the application's deadline is now Friday the 17th of August 2018. I am J.R. Morton for SKN Newsline. The cable we provide much more than just the fastest and most reliable internet service. We fill the homes of all our customers with joy and laughter. Our services connect friends and keep families together. With the most extensive fiber optic network, we ensure that you can enjoy the things you love with the people you love. Whether it's catching up with family or old friends, 
or simply just enjoying your favorite TV shows. People choose the cable because quality shows. King Dis and Dad won the 2018 Culturama Calypso Monarch title. He told SK Newsline that the experience was good and that he has been doing Calypso for 43 years. He said he had no doubt that he would be crowned this year's Calypso King. Hello, Sinkits Nevis and the rest of the world that is looking at us at this point. The experience tonight was good. It's always good. And like I said, I've been doing it for 43 years, so I had a good feeling about this evening. I normally knew knows when I'm going to win. You could feel it in the crowd, you could feel it in the performance, and tonight was no different. Tonight, of course, is my 12th Calypso crown here in Nevis. King Desandat also said that he is looking forward to next year's Calypso show. As you know, nobody has won it twice, and he's always pressuring you to win it twice, I mean back to back. So I'm going to start to prepare early and make sure that I'm in the game for Culture Armor 45. He also said that Calypso is coming back into the culture of Nevis. Well, I don't think we're losing it. I actually think it's coming back here in Nevis. I remember a couple of years ago, we were competing with some seven and eight Calypsonians. For the last two years, we're up to 23, 24. So it's coming back big time. But we want to ensure that it keeps going. So we have to invest in the youths. And of course, you would have seen tonight, the Junior King put on a good show with former King Miko. And then Suki, his first time in the big arena, coming second run up. I mean, the future looking bright for Calypso in Nevis. And of course, there are some others who entered the youth competition who are looking very, very promising. King this and that also congratulated Suki for coming second runner up in the Junior Calypso show. This being his first time in the big leagues. We have had many young kings who would have won three crowns and four crowns and didn't make it after that. They just disappeared. You know, Suki is the only one that have come through so far. And I am hoping that we start to encourage the youth to write their little poem, whatever little poem it is. Because that's how I started. I started with a little poem and somebody wrote the, the chorus for me. And I went from there and keep working, keep working. It'll take a couple of years before you get good at it. But you need to get the youngsters to do that. If you keep giving them songs, we are going to run into the same problem we had a couple of years back. So I'm looking forward to helping out the youths, for helping them to write, teaching them how to write Calypso, how to perform it, how to sing it. I am Chiari Morton for SKN Newsline. For all your printing needs at top-notch quality, go, go to, to Digital, Digital Print, Print Plus, Plus, located on Princess Street, Bastier, St. Kitts. At Digital Print Plus, you get the best in business cards, letterheads, envelopes, wristbands, tent cards, rack cards, flyers, brochures, logo designs, posters, photos, architectural designs, 3D renderings, and so much more. Digital Print Plus gives you the best quality at competitive prices. Contact us at 767-7468 or email digitalprintskn at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook at Digital Print SKN. Digital, Digital Print, Print Plus, Plus for, for all, all your printing, printing needs at, at the, the best, best quality. quality. Miss Culture 2018, Miss Neela Jones, said that she is extremely honored to be this year's Miss Culture and that she hopes to inspire other young ladies to do the same. Well, right now I am feeling extremely overwhelmed and honored to be Miss Culture 2018. I hope to perform my duties well. In fact, I do know that I will hold my title as Miss Culture and I hope to inspire other young ladies to do the same. Thank you. Miss Neela Jones won Best Cultural Speech, Best Cultural Wear, Best Performing Talent, Best Evening Wear, and also Best Interview, alongside Miss Taiwana Cranston. Miss Neela Jones also won the title of Miss Photogenic, amassing a total of 828 points. First runner-up is Miss Taiwana Cranston, with a total of 758 points. She also received Best in Interview. Meanwhile, the 2018 Flo Miss Caribbean Culture Queen is Miss Shelley Sonanthon of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, who competed in the top five. First runner-up, Miss Antigua and Barbuda, and in second place, Miss Nevis. I am Cherry Morton for SKN Newsline. You're watching SKN Newsline TV live on SKNNewsline.com.